Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today I'm going to be playing Saint Kotar. Now this is a point and click style adventure game, but it's it's kind of horror themed, but it's the type of horror that I don't believe, I don't believe it's supernatural, it's more religious, cult like undertones, and I think that's one of the scariest horrors, because it can be real, you know what I mean, like cults, crazy sects, hideous blood curdling sacrifices and things, I think that's what this game is about. So, and the good thing is it, it's coming up to Christmas and I think the perfect time to play any type of horror games is around Christmas time. I know it seems quite messed up because Christmas time is a, is a, is a time for a celebration and everyone being happy and holidays, happy holidays, festive seasons, but that's the perfect contrast to having absolute tragedy so let's do it let's do it baby father please don't leave it's dark the witch could be hiding in here don't do this i'm sorry if i have sinned i didn't mean to please oh it's already messed up can get locked in by itself oh father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Move the cursor with mouth less con uh, mouth mouse left controller stick, yep. Move the character. Alright, so we, I can barely, lads, I can barely see this guy. Like press and hold right mouse button left trigger to highlight interactive objects. The candle. Okay. If we get a candle Mother and something like this. Dozens with. of the same in her room. Each has an engraving with a big scary eye inside a triangle. The Illuminati. Your mother's part of the Illuminati girl. Oh, it's not a girl, is it? It's a boy. Boy, man. Oh, is this me here? What's this? I don't... I don't... Was that my health bar, maybe? I don't know. Don't know yet. Nightstand. My old nightstand? Mother said they threw it away. Mother. box inside the drawer. It's not my real mother, is it? It's a, uh, like, mother as in father and sister, religious type, I think. Get the matchbox. I can now try to light up the room. Hey, come on, baby. I know it. Where are you? Mother, I'm in the basement. For God's sake, don't get seen in that place. Get out immediately. I'm still waiting to hear the prayer, son. What are you waiting for? You put him there? Why would you do that, Yosa? It's his behavior that did that to him. He was good all day. He helped me with the wheat and the food and... And he talked to a kid at the funeral. When did this happen? I, 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 I didn't see him. Of course you didn't. Because you don't care of this family. I do. I should lock you all downstairs. You all need to learn. Where is she? Where is our daughter? I mean, to be fair, right, lads? If your children or wife isn't doing as they're told, lock them in the basement's the only way. It's the only way to show them true love. <laughs> Mate, I need to I need to make me own cult. Yeah, so actually it is our real mother. We're so we're in our house. It's our father, our actual dad. Who is a crazy son of a bitch? Mother has dozens of the same in her room. Each has an engraving with a big scary eye inside a triangle. I know, mate. How do I? Oh, wait, this is the inventory. No. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, press it on his portrait. Ah, look. Grab the matchbox. Oosh. <laughs> Mother, help me! Quickly you press twice left mouse button, bottom face button, controller on staircase to run. You silly, what are you doing? It's me! What the f- I I'm sorry, I, I thought you were that witch. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Witches don't exist. And it's just the two of us here. 
Who the fuck is this? Victoria. I can't forget our aunt white face. I can't forget our aunt's white face. Me neither. She looks so different. Her head was so bloated and pallid. And her eyes and hair, so dark. The curse did that to her. Don't be ridiculous. She's at peace now. That's all that matters. I hope she is. I know why are you here. Are you hiding from father? Why are you here? I heard father talking to himself before going to get you in your room. So I ran here and hid. But why? You know he's going to be very angry at you once he finds out. Because I've promised I wouldn't let you be alone in the dark again. And when I promise something... You never break a promise, I know. I'm glad you were here. Also, I, I, do I have to do every single... I mean, it seems like kind of a waste. To, like, give you dialogue choices that you can't... Not choose. You're wrong. Father would never lie to us. About what now? About the witch that cursed our bloodline. He's just trying to scare us with stories so we don't do anything wrong. And today you did wrong, so he punished you by locking you down here in the dark. Still don't understand what did I do? What did I do? I, I still don't understand. You talked to that tall boy. Don't you remember? We are not allowed to talk to other people anymore. They are evil. I thought that meant we must avoid adults. How am I supposed to make friends then? You don't need friends. Mother said we have each other in God. She's right. I don't think we need anyone else. Rand was once such a beautiful woman, full of life. A perfect creation of God. But her fate was nothing more than a Sunday morning rite. And the witch's curse just a fairy tale story. Evil is everywhere, my dear children. It is hiding in the shadows of this world. It takes form of animals, and it possesses people. You're possessed. Father, you fuck. please forgive. You should look up to your sister. Unlike you, she values God and this family. It's my fault he went to talk to that boy. I ignored him because I was looking into the coffin and I lost sense of time. Ah, I beg you, don't hurt him anymore. You must learn to be alone with God. You must learn. You all must learn what true faith is. Oh, oh, that's a bit of a fuckhead, isn't he? Ah! <clears throat> oh, uh, it was just a dream. I often think about that peculiar day, but I've never relived it so vividly in my dreams. Why now? <laughs> Why in this place? I, I need my glasses. I can't even think without them. This place isn't holy. I've got a I've got a Bible. I've got a rosary. Passport, right? I need glasses. Nothing here except a thick layer of dust. Where the hell are you? It's funny, right, lads, cuz the fabric like, is full of moth-eaten holes, though too small for my glasses to have fallen through. If I take my glasses off, my vision is worse than this. Like, I can I can only like focus on things that's like two inches in front of my face. That that it it it's crazy. Like, the thing is, all like you can still make things out, but you just got no detail whatsoever. As a fuck, son. Ah, here they are, fallen to the floor, but still intact. Thinking of the dream I had, I don't remember going to sleep at all. We came in. And then, we came in, Victoria and Nikolai went upstairs to prepare for the castle, and then, nothing. 
I must have fainted. I have to talk to Victoria at once. Okay. A stoop. Is this meant to represent a basin? Like at the entrance of a church? This is blasphemy. Yes. This house is unholy. It's not holy water for sure. It has a weird smell. It's Looks piss. disgusting. I'm staying away from it. The urinal, mate. What do you think about that? Wait, now, how do we actually escape? Oh, look. Can I, I can press B. I can press B to back out. That's good. Take a lamp. I checked it last night. It's useless. There's not enough oil inside. I'll get some new oil. Oh, there's the Mary. Mother Mary. This woman eerily reminds me of Victoria in her younger days. The lady in black. A cold black fireplace that hasn't been used in ages. The same feeling I'm getting from the rest of the house. Mate, do you even know why you're here? Oh wait, they look, I've got a brain. Oh, talk to Victoria. Tasks, active. Map. Didn't have a map. We haven't completed anything. Okay. Oh, a sewing machine, an old school sewing machine. That's foot powered. You'll have like a little foot thing on the floor that you like tap like a drum, like a bass drum, bass drum foot pedal, and it spins it. Legendary. Oh, who is this? Oh, there's Nikolai. Oh, who is Nikolai? Not my brother. Nikolai? Yes, Benedict. Oh, so we rented this house. Where's Victoria? Where's Victoria? I don't know. This guy's very straight to the point. Do you have the slightest idea why Victoria rented this dreary house? I don't even know how she found it. Looks like the owner is some kind of artist. Or is at least convinced to be. Very morbid taste. <laughs> Strange figures. I agree. I've never seen so many masks in my life. Especially not placed on walls. That's a strange painting. It is. Take a better look at it and tell me what you see. Why? Please, do as I say. I'll get to the point. How about you do as I say? Tell me what you think first. Right, come on, let's look at this. This could be interesting. It's him. I'm sure I know him. I recognize this guy. He's got a mouth. Ah, he's got a mouth. A snake-like mouth implies a man who cannot be trusted, at the very least. Mate, this guy's familiar. Where do I know this guy from? Mean eyes at the edge of a wicked soul. Mean eyes at the edge of a wicked soul. What if he's just angry? That is not a mere shadow. It's a symbol of darkness, of evilness devouring this lost man. I'm not being funny, but my guy seems pretty messed up. Just a picture, mate. I've taken a closer look at the painting. You don't recognize this man? I do I've actually seen recognize him before. I have. And nothing happened to you by looking at him. Why would anything happen to me? Last night, after your sister and I came upstairs, she was getting ready for the castle. And I was standing right here, and I wonder, yesterday when we boarded the train, was anyone else in our cabin? Spit out, mate. I don't like riddles. Just fucking... What? Hi. Why would anything happen to me? What's wrong with this painting? You haven't answered. Why would anything happen to me? What's wrong with this painting? I don't know yet. Please, just follow me as I go over yesterday's events. I'll get to the point. I read Sherlock Holmes. Just the three of us. Just the three of us? But once the train left Budapest, wasn't there a man who came in? By placing the sign, do not disturb on our doorknob, I made sure this wouldn't happen. The only time that door opened was when the conductor peered in to tell us we have arrived at our destination. And when we left the train station, no one was following us? Didn't Victoria notice him? Notice whom? Your dear wife was over the moon to have finally arrived at Sveti Kotar. She couldn't oh, stop talking shit. about the place, but 
said nothing about anyone following us. Right. This guy's with my sister. And on our way to the house, we stopped at the square. There was a, a strange old ritual taking place with a gigantic effigy. What was it like? This is what happens when you have premarital sex, you infidel. This is why it's all happened, because this guy is having sex with my sister. And it's against God's will. So, you've brought it on yourself. What about the mass of hooded people? And what about the mass of hooded people that gathered there? It was a dreadful scene. I remember the goosebumps when hearing the crowd pray as one voice, though. Let me tell you what happened after that. Right, so what happened after that? We found the path which led us to this house. We found the path which led us to this house. What happened when Victoria knocked? Well, we realized the door was actually ajar. And the owner wasn't here. Just silence. Dead awful silence. Uh, it gave me chills. Hmm. Once we entered the house, what did you and your wife do? I said it before. We went upstairs to prepare for the castle exhibition. Leaving me to wander alone downstairs in complete darkness. You found nothing odd about the house being empty and unlocked? I did, but Victoria said it's nothing to worry about. So I just followed her. You don't sound like much of a man to me. We never went to the castle? You don't remember? Well, bro, bro, what I've just told you. The last thing I remember is searching for a light. And then nothing. What do you mean? I mean, everything after was only a dream. But I don't even remember going to sleep. Hmm. Victoria dragged me into this town to make me attend that piddling exhibition in the castle. We never went there, did we? Which means I left the monastery only to spend a horrible night in this house. We both Proof. fell into an inexplicable void. <sighs> Something is terribly wrong here. Victoria's a witch. Oh, of course, Victoria, man. Victoria's my sister, the little girl, uh, little girl from the intro. She's a witch. She, she is the witch. Keep, you keep hearing stories of people saying, Oh, the witch will get you if you're not good. The witch, the witch, the witch. She is the witch. And our parents are working for the witch. Watch. I know. I know what's happening. Tell me what happened last night. What's wrong with this painting? And where's Victoria? I'm afraid Mate. I don't have the answers. Shut what up happened with the is that while I was waiting for her to get ready, my attention was drawn by this painting. Next moment, I was seeing myself relive yesterday's events with one difference. The man in the painting was there the whole time. Are you feeling all right, mate? The whole time? He was in our cabin, and he was that gigantic effigy the inhabitants set on fire. Shortly afterwards, he emerged from the crowd in human form again, unchanged, and then led us towards the house. Once we got here, he jumped on my back and asked me to carry him upstairs. I was happy. I felt like a father carrying his own child. Oh, that's, that's pretty creepy to be fair. Carrying this being on your back? Carrying this being on your back must have some weird symbolic meaning. He was holding so tightly that I could feel his long, sharp fingernails penetrate my throat. After we finally got upstairs, I was so upset and in pain that I had to throw him off. I quickly turned around to reprimand him and instead saw a human-sized crow with no eyes and a blood-stained beak. It croaked at me and then soared inside the painting. I wanted to run off, but couldn't. I was in shock too terrified. That was the moment I woke on the bed, fully dressed and disoriented. Victoria wasn't here. Mate, you are tripping balls. You know, I think it was just a dream. Why don't we just burn the painting? Yeah, so why did you ask me all the strange questions? Why did you ask me all those strange questions about yesterday? I had to separate the dream from the real as the dream was startlingly real. Startlingly real, just like my own dream. Hmm. Yeah, let's leave this accursed house, it's not good. We should leave this accursed house at once. 
After I woke, I noticed Victoria didn't even sleep on this bed. So I went downstairs to check if she was there, perhaps. I found only you, still asleep on the couch, and the door locked. That's when I started to think. Start to think what? What did you think? That we have to force our way out of here because we don't have the key. We are guests in this house. And needless to say, men of God. We must leave without doing any damage. I've already what? searched this floor for a key and tried to open the balcony door. But it's locked or stuck in some way. Mate, men of God will not be trapped in the demon's house. What about the windows? Strangely enough, or maybe for a good reason, they are made in a way that prevents them from being opened. Stay here and give it a second look. Whatever you can find that could help us. I'm going downstairs to check. Force should be our last resort to leave. Or maybe we get lucky and Victoria comes back in the meantime. Nah. We need to force our way from the demon's grasp. Let's hurry up then. I don't know where. Do you know, like... Do you know, like, when Just you think about... Don't look at the man in the painting again. We don't want to risk anything. Oh, you can't say that. You can't say that to me because, like... You can switch control between the two playable characters whenever you see both portraits on the screen. Try switching now by pressing on the smaller grayed out portrait or refer to help. Ah. Oh. Oh, that, this is cool. This is cool, right? But the question I've got is, um, how to look at this painting again? Oh. It's written in an ancient alphabet, which I don't understand. Could this be the name of the man on the painting? You think Big John knows? What's this guy called? I got your name, mate. What's your name? Let's go upstairs. Not now. Oh, I, w I was wondering if this guy maybe knew, like, the ancient text. Right, come on then, what have we got? Books. Codex Niva, Heart of Pagubice, and Dino Tominich. I've never heard of these works. Open the curtains, get some light in. I need light. Yes. A yellow blanket, wrinkled only on one side of the bed. Light is a gift from God. What has it said? That um, he shone light on the earth and it was good. Very good. Apart from all the fucking demons and pain and suffering that he left there, I mean that was a mistake, right? It's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hanging from its branches and skulls that feed its roots. Oh, nice. That's uh, awesome. All I see here is a lonely coat rack. A giant bowl made out of clay, filled with what seems to be some type of oil. Oil for the lantern. Okay, right. This this fuck. Oh wait, there door. Door door door. Door door door. I'm pretty sure it's not locked, but rather just stuck. Not sure what's the cause, because both sides of the door are heavily grimed from the outside. Kick it. Kick it. It looks like mud. And it has a sickly odor. How did it end up on a balcony? If I could push it back with a stick or something similar, I might be able to open the door. Push it back with a stick. Or just use the painting. Push it back with the painting. Painting's got a frame. Or just smash it. Oh shit, I will kind of smash things, can't we? Because we're men of God. Hmm. Where would one get a stick? 
Oh, you said the oh the coat. Look, uh, I know what it is. Look, the coat, the coat. A yellow rack. blanket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forgive me, God, but I must take this. I think it'll fit perfectly under the balcony door. Like, I don't know if it's just me or maybe like my earthly being logic is not the same type of logic as a as a supreme being god right but um if you're trapped in the demon's house i'm sure god wouldn't mind you taking that fucking stick to shove it up the demon's ass you know what i mean like, i think that's just one of them things or maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm going to hell for that i don't know baby it looks like mud and it has a sickly odor oh shit wait there okay yeah yeah, yeah. I could push it back with us yeah 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 we've got to do the thing Oh shit, okay. Maybe I can read the Bible out of people. Oh my god, I want to convert loads of people. Watch this. I was right. It fits perfectly underneath. Looks like there's mud on the outside. That should be enough to open the door. My god. Nikolai, come upstairs quickly. You must see this. Just a moment. I have to finish here first. Blood. I bet you it's blood. Congealed blood. Not now. What? What? Bro, not now. Bro. Not now. Eat. What? Uh, pardon me? Game paused. Don't want game paused. Where's the um? Oh, it's the the brain, isn't it? Find a way out of the house, bro. I've just found my way out of the house. What, what, what on the balcony? Right now, wait there. So well, this guy likes looking at painting, so let's look at this painting. I didn't notice this painting in the dark last night. I don't like the look of this woman. It's driving me mad. I don't need that. My eyes... You do. It's locked. Mm. Oh shit. Look. This wasn't red before it was green. It doesn't look inviting, but I think I see something in there. Oh, the I key? should go check on Benedict upstairs now. He's there. Well, why would he not just reach in and Come get it? Come closer. Take a look at this. It's my turn to demand something from you now. Take a good look at the balcony, and then we can talk. Oh, then I'll look at this. Oh, God. Yep. Come blood in it. Unidentified mass. What is this? It looks like a mixture of earth, blood, and flesh. What we call a sacrifice. A rotten wooden stick. I don't need it. Everybody needs a rotten wooden stick. Is that a rat? It's a crow's head. All crows look exactly the same to me, but this one seems to be missing its eyes. Indeed. <laughs> Just like the one in your dream. <laughs> All crows look the same, but this one seems to be missing its eyes, eye, and its wings, and its body, and its feet. It's just a fucking head, mate, and you realise it was missing its eyes. It's missing its fucking body, mate. Right. Come on, then. Um, I've had a look. It's my turn to demand something from you now. Take a good look at... Oh, I, I thought I already had. Oh, God. Oh, look, the door. Marks on the door. Have you noticed these marks on the door? They were unnoticeable with the door closed. I don't think these are just random marks. It's a symbol. And it looks like it was made by sharp fingernails. Oh. 
You understand now why I wanted to leave the moment I saw this house? Calm down, Benedict. I am calm, but we both don't remember what happened here, and we both had horrible dreams. And now this. Can you still smell that sickly odor? Don't you see the connection with your dream? Uh, this guy is remarkably calm for, like, having his wife missing. And there's a fucking blood poon tang on the fucking balcony. Found a key inside the stoop. I found a key inside the stoop. The key to the entrance door? Inside the stoop? I believe so. Haven't tried it yet. At least I won't have to walk over the devilry on the balcony. And risk an injury by jumping below. Maybe I opened the door last night and saw the crow's head. It could be the reason why I had that dream. Doubtful. Something else is at work here. The crow looks like it's been recently decapitated. And the mud is still wet. Don't you wonder who did this? And why? I can't think clearly in here. You think Victoria could be responsible? She is a witch. It wasn't you, or even me. Who else could have done it? The man from the painting? I knew it. Come on. You really think she's capable of such a thing? What's the matter with you? She may be my sister, but I don't know her anymore. I do know she's playing with things she doesn't understand. Yeah, we knew, we, we, we knew that. Things she doesn't understand? Things no one should understand. The symbol, the decapitated head, blood and flesh. Occultism. You mean with occultism? Witchcraft, I believe. She's playing the role of a witch to play yep. with me. Unaware of the consequences that will inevitably come. My wife is not a saint, but to think she's practicing demonic things is insane. She definitely is. And she's my sister. I know what she's like. She used to play it about in dark rooms when we were kids because she's sick. You think she made us forget last night and influenced our dreams? No, but she's the one who picked this house. Not you and certainly not me. That was a deliberate choice with a plan. And what would that plan be? I think the castle exhibition was just a lure. Her real intention was to drag me into this town to play with my beliefs and fears. You really don't know her anymore. What happened between the two of you? She doesn't want to tell me. She became the same person our aunt was. Godless and incredulous about our father's words. Hopefully he's at a place where he found peace. Unaware of my sister's thoughts and acts. Sorry dad, I'm just trying to get... Extremely comfortable, but um... I think the, the devil has possessed my chair because... Comfort levels aren't up to scratch. Oh, wait there. Oh, there, yeah, that's cool. The key I found downstairs is probably the key of the main door. You already revealed your suspicion about the key. Why are you mentioning it again? If the key is here, where is Victoria? I don't know, and I don't care. She could have locked the door from the inside, left the key, and then jumped from the balcony. <laughs> Who's this guy? She's not fucking Spider-Man. That's my point. It doesn't make any sense. Why would she do that? I think she found a second key. Because no footprints are visible on the mud outside. She didn't jump from the balcony. Something else must have happened. Let's go outside and make a plan to find Victoria. Our minds are being suffocated in here. No, I've had enough of talking and I don't intend to search for her. I'm leaving this town at once. Exactly what I'd do, I'd be like, fuck that bitch. You can't just leave. She's your sister, for God's sake. She stopped being that a long time ago. Just look around and think about everything we discussed today. I'll say it again. Something else must have happened. There must be a logical explanation to all of this. Why did you even agree to come here? Obviously, I wanted to see and feel what it looks like in hell. Ooh, that's a bit dark. I'm not in the mood for joking. Why? She mentioned she had to talk to your superior in the monastery. And what else could she do? After I declined, the only way to have it her way was to persuade Father Imre. He must have given her his blessings only because of the assignment he had for me. Talk to the local priest about the town. See, there's nothing in the official Vatican archives about Sveti Kotar. And after coming here, I think I know why. Can we go downstairs now? I have a train to catch. I need to find that priest before then. I'll accompany you, my brother. It's a small town. 
we should be able to find Victoria along our way. It's a Vethi Kortar. He's a priest as well, is he? I tell you what, I, I, this guy here, I forgot his name already. Nikolai, he's a bit of a twat. Right, let's let's get the the key. We might need something to fish it out because I don't know if this guy's man enough to just fish it out with his hands. There's nothing more in there. Or did we actually get the key? Did we? It's locked. Oh, what? Well, the fucking key. There's nothing more in there. Bro, oh, ah, sh oh, 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 yeah. Okay. Before we step outside, you have to promise that once we find your sister, you'll talk to her. There must be no arguments or secrets in this family. Why do I have a feeling you are not leaving with me? What the hell? This guy's the devil. We never planned to leave the next day, didn't she tell you? This house was rented for three nights. She did not. So much about having no secrets between us. Please, leave me alone. Good day, gentlemen. Good day, sir. My name is Martin Mostov. I am a detective in the service of the town of Svetikotar. Oh, that's what the town's called, Sweaty Quarter. <laughs> the town's called Sweaty Quarter. How can we help? Is there anyone else inside the house? No one. It's just me and him. Why? Where's the woman? The woman? The house is empty. What's going on? We came here looking for a woman, only to find two scared men. And who's the man in your company? Dr. Eric Hatur. Doctor? Mr. Hatur, is somebody hurt? Dr. Hatur is the warden of the asylum. He helps the local police force with his knowledge of the mind. So I've got an asylum here. This place is pretty fucked up. Do you know what it is? I'm going to call it now. The asylum's not even really an asylum. It's a place to convert people to the dark side. Not a man of words, Dr. Hatur. He prefers to keep quiet just like your friend here it's funny because actually mental illness in the past like when it wasn't understood was like demonic wasn't it they said like oh you were possessed if you had a mental illness i mean who's to say it's not true you know what i mean like people just say like oh like, it's, a, it's a damage to the mind it's it's something that's not right it's an illness what if it's not what if it is just devil you know what i mean who knows are you looking for the owner of the house? Because we don't know where she is. Hand the key of the house to Mr. Hatur. Why? Just do as I say. Fuck you. You're getting fucking nothing. I'm gone. See ya. Give you gonna the key. Why? What are you going to do? Bro, I'm a man of God. I will exercise you. Yeah, read that. Seems highly unlikely. Yeah, I don't think you can read either. <laughs> the fucking mug. Right here, I have the key. I'm sorry. Did you say something? I heard nothing. Are we free to go now, Martin? No. You both have to follow me. Why? What? Yes, I'd like to know as well. Why do we have to follow you? Orders from above. How can we trust you to be what you say you are? What's with the face? You never seen a photo of a man with an intact head? It was taken before the incident. I don't even understand what we're talking about here. What's with the face? You've never seen a photo of a man with an intact head. So are we saying these no heads no longer intact? Where are you taking us? Down to the police station where everything will be explained to you. What prevents you from discussing the matter right here and now? I'm not in the position to do that. There's a hierarchy I have to respect. 
Who is the woman that you seek? The woman's name, uh, the woman's name is, uh... Victoria. What for? Why do you need her? Uh, sir, uh, everything, everything will be explained to you in this station. Now, if you don't mind, please follow me. Whatever harrowed you through last night, it'll be nothing compared to what will happen if you do not obey. Obey. This guy, Dr. Hotor, this guy is 100% cult. This guy is the cult leader. I'm calling it right now. I obey no one. I obey no one. <laughs> Where's my wife? What happened to her? You know something about last night, don't you? We don't know. <laughs> Enough. Calm down. What has walking stick? Oh, he's fucking smashes across the heat with it. I'm calm. I'm calm. You shattered my walking stick. I'll make sure you don't forget your stay in Sveti Kotar. Welcome. Take them away. Yes, Mr. Warden. Smashes walking stick, that's what he gets for being a pleb. Oh, wait there, question. Do we have to manually save this game? Save myself. I guess one could get lost by looking at this mirror for too long. It's so dark that I can't see my own reflection. Is there anyone on the other side? Oh, he's funny. Those words. Anyone on the other side. That could be mate as a man of God. That can be multiple things. We could be talking about on the other side of the mirror. Or on the other side of the... the, the what is it? The realm. The spirit realm. Anyone on the other side. Anyone on the other side? I have a train to catch. Why am I being held here like some kind of sinner? Is it, did, did they hold sinners in cells? Oh, I suppose they did. They held me in a cell as a kid. Can someone tell me what this is about? I think I heard someone. I did nothing wrong, and you have no authority over me. Let me go. Place all your belongings inside the box. Push it back into the wall once you're done. Don't try to deceive us. We'll know. Okay. Fucking bastard wants me passport. Right. The, the only reason they're doing this is for the passport, right? I'm keeping my Bible and my rosary beads. Because they'll, they'll offer me protection. Do not test our faith in you. And do not try to obscure things from us. Give us everything you have. That is everything? Bruh. Not having the fucking Bible. It's my shield. Well, I trust you for now. But at the end of the process, you'll be searched thoroughly. Decisions have consequences in this town, little priest. Now, please step into the light so we can begin. You seem to obey orders, unlike your brother in the other room. Admirable. He's just a brother-in-law. So, Benedict. What a strange surname. Donani? Yes. Donani. Whom do you serve, Benedict Dohnani? I, I was just about to say, I serve only God. I serve only God. We all do. But you serve him in a different way. Don't you, little priest? I'm a monk among the ranks of the Pauline Order. Ah, monkhood. A 
way of life in solitude and silence with God. Many believers say it's the only way to be near our Maker. What can you tell me about that brother of yours, Nikolai Kali Akin? He's a murderer. <laughs> Let's just sell him out. What time is it, officer? Time is not relevant in this moment of your life. I'm under the jurisdiction of the Vatican. You have to let me go. The church can do nothing for you here. You, like everyone else in this town, answer to me and our patron saint only. But do you think this guy is the chief of police? He is a deacon. That's not what he said to us. Are you trying to lie to me? How could he serve God if he's married to your sister? He abandoned the path to priesthood to marry her. Deacons are allowed to serve in both houses. <laughs> After such a horrible past, God had to make it up to him. What the fuck? Who's the... Who does this guy... Now, listen, lads, I've just, I've just clicked, right? These aren't even policemen, are they? We're in the fucking... I bet you we're in the... The asylum. I guarantee we're in the asylum. This guy's the doctor. Or one of the doctors here. I know nothing about him in his past. I think you're just trying to protect him. It's useless. We'll find out everything we want to eventually. It's the truth. I barely spoke a word to the man before coming here. Quite an interesting family. What do you mean? His orphanage days. The mass grave they found at the orphanage. What? You must have heard about the witch nun from Minsk. Vaguely. I was very young back then. Your brother was there. You saw all those decaying child corpses in the backyard. It's horrible just thinking about it. Now tell me, what brings the three of you to our little town? It's a long journey from Budapest. Right, that's how we're going to answer this. I refuse to answer and wish to be released immediately. I refuse to answer and wish to be released immediately. A gruesome sin has been committed. Brother Benedict, instead of answering my question, do you want to confess something? The warden probably saw that hideous scene on the balcony. Are we now suspects? I have nothing to confess. I am sinless. Let's continue then. You descended from up north all the way to our little isolated town in Croatia. Why? Oh, we're in Croatia. We were invited to attend the exhibition at the castle. And who invited you? Nobody invited me. It was my sister who was invited and who made me come along. You're lying to me. No strangers allowed to get into the castle. Invitations don't exist. Tell me the real reason. I was dragged here by my sister. What does it matter after all? We never made it there. Continue obscuring the truth, and you'll end up dragged into Akhrizat for eternity. Nikolai is already doomed. He's a liar and a tyrant. If it wasn't for Mostov, God knows what he could have done to the warden. But you, I feel you're different. You're not like him. We know your sister was at the castle last night. She was seen by multiple witnesses. Tell me everything I need to. Right. Has anyone seen me or Nikolai there? Has anyone seen me or Nikolai there? He's not there, is he? Are you sure that was Victoria at the castle? How was that possible? You said strangers are not welcome. Hmm. I can't do anything else. I have to say this. I have to confess that something happened in the house we spent the night in. I don't know what exactly, but it was Victoria. She did this to me. Officer, can you hear me? He's not an officer. Wait, 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 wait. Give... Hey. First sign of electricity in this town. Complete nothingness. Let me out! Finally! Am I free to leave now? You both have to come with me. Again. Why? Oh, where? Beyond the wall of crosses.
At Man, last, what the, fu- the grandiose Church of Mary, after so many centuries, still here, still holding up against... What are we doing here? I'm not at liberty to talk about anything. Now walk, the chief is expecting you. Reeves. All entrapped within heavy iron cages. Well, who's that guy? Do you have any idea why we are here? No, but I know what this place is. I overheard two officers talking at the station. This is the Church of Mary. Did they ask you anything about the house? No, but I suspect they will. The warden is here, inside the churchyard. I can't believe this is happening to me. Hmm. I was told Victoria was seen at the castle last night. They told me the same, and I don't know what to think. Let's not talk about it here. I heard the detective say this is the Church of Mary. The officers referred to it as the Heart of Darkness. Said they've never been here until today. Judging mm. by the architecture, I'd say the church was built in medieval times. The Heart of Darkness. Ever heard of the Witch Nun from Minsk? I see. So they told you about my orphanage days. Yep. Victoria knows you were an orphan? Please. I don't want to talk about it. Tell me about all of those dead, burnt children. Never mind. How did you escape? You must have sucked off a nun or something. Sucked off a nun. <laughs> Someone's in the driver's seat. He looks tense, wildly moving his hands and head as if threatened. And right, hold on, lads. I need to take a drink. Nikolai's having issues like Noren. Ah, oh, you made it past the wall of crosses. Through tall trees, unmarked paths, and unnatural, dreadful silence. Into the heart of darkness where you invited us to meet. Yeah, we didn't invite you. We invited you? You have, with your deeds. I don't understand. What is this place? Why are we here? This church was built with one purpose only. To repel evil from the Carcassa forest. It failed miserably, and was absorbed by darkness instead. Chief, we'd appreciate it if you could tell us what's going on. Words are unnecessary. Light always reveals. Lights on, officer! Now, take a good look. Well, there's a load of fucking blood there for a start. God. Oh shit, who's this guy? What? Tell us, why are we here? Lights off! Ranko Merzel, the beloved mayor of Sveti Kotar, hanging up there all alone with a dreaded yellow mask. Underneath the mask, he has nothing left. His face ripped off. His eyes gouged out and eaten. How do you know they were eaten? His skull cut open, and parts of his brain eaten. How do you know? All whilst alive, tortured cruelly by the moon ghouls, or those that want to become one. In the very end, his chest and abdomen were torn and his heart ripped out, to be devoured. How do you know this? Yeah, exactly, exactly. His body is still up there. How could you possibly know all these things? We don't have to pull him down to know what happened. We've seen this too many times in our lives. So what the fuck is it gonna do with me? So if you've seen this so many times in your lives, right? I've only been here for 24 hours. What the fuck's it gonna do with me? Who are the moon ghouls? Saborans is their name. Servants of the moon demons. 
Some people believe they're not humans, but rather evil entities that take human form. We don't know who they are. They're hiding in the shadows, impossible to find. Well, if you were a decent police officer, you'd fucking find them. Impossible to find, that sounds like you're not doing a good job. This is a horrific crime scene. We shouldn't be here. Is this the way you welcome strangers in your town? We know the mayor was murdered by Nedamin, a man who decided to worship the moon deities. The past teaches us we are unable to see the true soul of other people, no matter how close they are to us. So you interrogate strangers and tell them of the existence of malicious beings, and in the end you show them their prey? Nedamin didn't feast on the mayor's corpse alone. There was someone else who joined the ritual. Victoria. It's gonna be Victoria, isn't it? Nerman. I bet you Nerman's the guy in the picture. The name Nermin doesn't mean anything to us. We're here for the first time in our lives, Chief. What do you want from us? Lies. All lies. Where's Victoria? Or should I call her Petra instead? What do you mean? We know she used the name Petra when introducing herself around town. Our mother's name. We just don't know where she's hiding, and we need you to tell us. I haven't got a fucking clue. Why do you think she's hiding? I know, why exactly do you think she's hiding? You can't find the fucking members of the cult, never mind somebody else. So what, why would they need to hide? You're a shit police officer? We don't know. When we woke, she wasn't in the house. It was our plan to go looking for her. But then your men intercepted us. And you welcomed them by pushing the warden to the ground. Now he's being a cocksucker. We yeah, don't know fault. where she is. Do not try to make a fool of me. She Making was a fool of yourself. a man from the castle roof last night. And when we found his severed head, he wore a yellow mask. We know she helped Nermin. Her scratch pad was found up in the belfry amongst pieces of human flesh. If you want us to search for her, fine. Once we find her, she'll face the same fate as Nermin. They'll beg us to end their lives. Okay. Why would she help Nerman? Who was the man she allegedly pushed from the roof? Who was the man she allegedly pushed from the roof? We are still trying to fish his body parts from the chasm below the castle. Whoever he was, he's just one piece of the puzzle. Why would she help Nermin, a complete stranger to her? The Saboran's cult needed a witch among them. Morbidity and the occult fascinate her. She's your sister. You should know that. This is insane. My wife would never do harm to anyone, let alone join a cannibal cult. I know, like, who, who, who observed this? Who witnessed this? How can you be so sure of her guilt? What proof do you have? We found her belongings in the belfry and her coat in the woods not so far from here. Was it a sword? Coat? Uh, how do you know it's hers? Exactly. A coat, badly damaged, with blood stains. Her wallet and personal ID were inside, but we also found something else next to it. Listen, mate, An mate. An eviscerated fetus. Fuck. Listen, mate, right? So, is this how you detective 101? Mate, I found a severed hand of your sister. I found her coat. Her shoes, her fucking umbrella, and we think your sister did it. What? What? what uh, how did you put that two and two together? So you're saying, you're saying, right, that the person that you think committed all these crimes just left all their fucking clothes in the woods? Uh no, nah, that sounds like a victim to me. That sounds like a victim. That's not right. It's wrong. My sister was pregnant. Hmm. I mean. You think she'd just fish a fucking fetus out of a fanny? I, I, don't, I don't think so. My sister was pregnant? She still is. Don't you understand oh, what they're shit. trying to do here? 
Victoria sacrificed her unborn child to the moon demons. How do you know she wasn't kidnapped? No. This is not possible. She would... She would never... We know she's hiding somewhere and we know you're lying, which makes you her and Nermin's accomplices. She even tried to make us believe she killed herself after the murders. Hmm. Why do you think she tried to fake her own death? There was a suicide note in her coat. Many have taken their own lives in this forest. She thought she could trick us with a message of repentance. Pathetic. Planted, mate. It's clearly... Mate, it's clearly a plant. It's a plant. You're such a fool for falling for it. It's like... Criminal misguidance 101. I... An accomplice? I fell asleep the moment we entered that house. I am a man of God. How dare you put such sin on my soul? I've seen many people say or think they're godly men. That means nothing. Faith is more than mere words. You clearly don't have any intention to help us. But we might have means to change your mind. Chief, What's he got? do you really think we would be lying? Is my wife really capable of... of committing such atrocities? Look around. Can you smell death? Can you sense wickedness? Of course I believe that. This is a cursed land. And I don't know who you are, and I don't trust you. None of you. Take them away. Make them talk. Gentlemen, you know how this works. Follow me. Bruh. Why have we stopped, Detective? Someone needs to help you out. I'm letting you go. Oh, good man, good man. All of a sudden, you want to help us? Why? Your sister came here to join a madman? She chose this town to fulfill her occult desires? And you're helping her to hide. That's insane. Maybe she got kidnapped by Nermin and... I don't know. Exactly. You must find her as quickly as possible. Exactly. Chief Norden will be furious with you. I never lied to him. Or at least it's what he thinks. He won't question my decision to let you leave. But you have to give me your word you won't leave town. We have your passports, but one can always find a way out if he wants to. We promise. I wouldn't question a word from two priests. I promise. Start your search with the warden. Okay. Yeah, can you give me my belongings back? Could you give me my belongings back? That I cannot do. I'm sorry. It's a good job I kept the Bible. What time is it? I don't know, but it's getting late and you should act. Immediately. The train is about to leave soon. Dr. Hatur? I was with him last night before the incident at the castle. He was already looking for Victoria. Before the incident? Are you sure? My head injury sometimes makes me have memory lapses, but you don't have to question my intelligence. I'm sorry, but I knew it. The moment I saw that man, I knew there was something creepy about him. I don't know how, but he might be somehow connected with her disappearance. He's guaranteed. Guaranteed. He's already got a fucking... Locked up in the asylum. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. He's a fucking rapist. Guaranteed. Why did he stay at the house while we were being interrogated? He wanted to make sure Victoria wasn't there. But to tell you the truth, I think he had other reasons. I'm not sure. Could he be found at a mental hospital? Oh no. You can't possibly get to the Marof Asylum. It's off-limits for non-staff or non-inmates. The doctor resides at the only lodge in this town, the Goldeen Lodge. 
Goldeen Lodge. That's where you should go first. Yes. Where's the lodge located? From here, go down towards the lake. Once you reach the shore, go left. You can't miss it. Bro, I, I, I don't, I've never been to this town before. Where the fuck's the lake? Yeah, give us directions. North, south, east, west. We have to go now. A few words of advice before we part ways. There is a reason why this town looks desolate, even in broad daylight. Don't get yourself fooled by the lights you see here. This soil is cursed, and the air tainted with wickedness. I know you can sense it. It's the opposite of what you're used to. Be wary while wandering around. Under no circumstances you should go into the forest or onto the mountain. They are forbidden. Stick to the town. The moon ghouls are impossible to find, except for when it's too late for oneself. God bless you all. I hope you find salvation in spite of the horror all around you. Hmm. So, when are we going to the first <laughs> of the mountain? We have to split, Benedict. I'm going to the lodge. You should go back to the house in case Victoria comes back. Are you mad? Are you mad, bro? I'm not going to the house. I don't know my sister anymore. She became a person I've dreaded my whole life. Yeah, I kind of think like, like I, li I like the story so far. One thing I don't like is why give me dialogue options when I have to say them all anyway. Like just make these dialogue options, just make it like all one, one, and then just continue the-, the She's a devil worshiper, a story. murderer, a person acting against God. We don't know this. We don't know this. Who is she? How could she change so Lord, I think much? she is a witch. Since I think she when was do a real you witch. trust other people? They are lying, Benedict. Victoria is innocent. Did she drag me here to sacrifice me? Like she did with her unborn child? Hey, she did not do that. Our child is not dead. The chief is lying. Before this journey, when was the last time you saw her? A couple of years ago, I guess. I see and talk to her every waking hour since we married. People don't change that much. She's a good person. They don't change. They just strip the facade and show their true self. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. When... Whenever people say, like, people don't just change like that. No, 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 no. They were already like that when you met them. They just had a mask on. Because I don't believe people change. They, 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 they cover things up. They put on a front. And it's just for however long they can keep that front up for. So if, if ever you think, like, oh, they've, they've turned over and you need to change, they haven't. They've either slipped out of their front or put on a new one. It's just, it's just how, just how the fucking world works, mate. If they are lying, how do you explain her scratch pad in the belfry? I don't know. And what about her coat? Or the fact that she used my mother's name to introduce herself? We should ask if this is true. The only person she spoke to after arriving here is the lady from the souvenir shop over there. Don't forget, she was seen pushing a man from the castle's roof by multiple witnesses. Maybe she was assaulted. We don't know who that man is. And what really happened last night. If we don't succeed in finding her soon, going to the castle is something we should consider. And this is partly on us. If we weren't so weak, we wouldn't have been drowned into a nightmare cycle of dreams. Just look around you. <sighs> It's already night, for God's sake. Pull yourself together, man. I've noticed. It means we slept for more than half a day. Even when dead tired, one can never sleep that much. It's unnatural. The house definitely did this. What? 
because we were weak. Bro, you just, you just chill, chill. Mate, you're being weak right now. Pull yourself together. Nobody can sleep for half a day unless the demons interfered. Bullshit, mate. Why well, are we just fucking tired? It's my fault? It was her idea to make me come here, and she picked that damned house. How do you explain the balcony horror? <sighs> you're, you're right. I'm sorry. I don't know how to explain many things. I'm just trying to find a meaning in all this madness. We should move, brother. She might already be back at the house. Or in danger at the hands of that warden. No. I'm leaving. You what? <laughs> I've, I've got no... Well, I've got, I haven't actually got a choice of this. Given the circumstances, Father Imre will understand why I didn't talk to the priest of Svetikotar. But he will judge you if you leave your sister here. Judgment can only be made by God. I'm leaving. Going back to Budapest. You won't make it past the border. You don't have your passport. I'll be fine. Well, we know we're not leaving because then the game would be over. I don't you know care I mean? about Victoria and what she got into. God will be her judge. God will condemn you for leaving your sister to die here. Open your eyes! She's the only real family you have. Isn't it weird? Because it is like a catch-22, isn't it? Like, follow the laws of God. Um, But yet, if you don't act when something evil has happened to someone, then it's your fault because that's what you should have done. Like, what the fuck? No wonder people are fucked up, man. They get mixed signals. My family died the day my father left us. I'm with God alone now. If you leave, you will pursue your own selfish desires, not his will and words. She was accused wrongly. You need to stay here and help me find her in the name of faith. I'm in, I'm in, just, yes. You think she might be back at the house? Could be. It's the only place where she knows we might be. Are you going to help me? Yes, of course I'm going to fucking help you. I'm going to the house, and if she's there, I'm leaving at once. You both wait on me, but stay out of the house and hide somewhere outside. The warden or the police might come back. I have the warden's walking stick, or at least what's left of it. Excellent. How did you get it? After falling on the ground, amongst all the chaos, he seemed very protective of it. Maybe now I have leverage over him. Ah, very good. I'm going to the lodge. Be careful. Right. Perfect. Right, let's save it here. Yeah, so I wonder, I wonder if... <laughs> I like how all of my, my saves are called Saved Myself. I wonder if... If I, if, if I chose to leave, does that mean we only play the game with one character? You know what I mean? But, look, look at this. Look, Oh, lads, lads, that's so funny. That's so funny. I'm such a fucking idiot. I, I was just about to say, look at this. There's like a mad face in the tree. <laughs> it's, the, it's the fucking... It's the portrait of my character. I was like, wow, there's a weird face in the bottom of that tree there. Um, okay, lads. So, I, I, I like the story. Uh, so far, I, I like the mystery around it. Sometimes I think the, the, the it gives you like three dialogue choices and they all say the same thing and you have to click on each and every one before it lets you proceed. And it's weird because normally in the games like this, when you choose a, a dialogue option and it's got like something in brackets, whether it's stay or leave or fight or something, if you choose that one, that's exactly what you do in this game. Sometimes you choose like da -da 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 -da, in brackets, then leave. But when you choose that, it, it doesn't make you leave. It just opens up some more dialogue. Then you can choose something that's different. It's fucking strange. I think it's it's a case of having dialogue for the sake of dialogue. But so far, so good. I'm excited to see where it goes. See you in the next one, lads.